Hello. Hello. All right, we're here with a bunch of guys. This is Matt's place, and we're on our way to Rocky Nat, so I'll drop a link down below to that video. But I thought I'd make this one separate because it's not even been, what, six months since we filmed nah. your car? Come have a look at this. He's changed the whole thing. Different color, different motor, and um, I thought I'd do a bit of an update because, I don't know, it's, it's basically a new car. Yeah, everything's <laughs> changed on it. So the, before he stripped this down, you did a trip out to the desert. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a whole lot of drama. You probably, might have seen it on his Instagram. I'll try to get some photos of him, but tell us just quickly before we look at this thing, the, the show you and Paulie got up to, it was a bit of a drama. So. Yeah, so basically went across the Salt Lake. Yeah. We got stuck there for eight hours, and then we eventually got out, and then Lockie broke a tail shaft. So he had to leave his trailer there, and then about two hours later, mine put the fan through the radiator, so I had to leave my car in the desert too, with so the trailer. So there's one trailer somewhere, a car somewhere with a trailer, and then you all piled in his yeah, car. Yeah, all piled in his, took all the fuel, all the spare parts, and then um, sort of up to Alice out, Springs. Yeah, got it to town, and then you got bits and went back out and fixed it on the side of the trailer. Yeah, out of 44 on the back, yep. so full of fuel, full of all the parts, and yeah, yeah. fixed it in so, the middle of the desert. So how many days did that take you? Oh, it wasn't too long, about four days probably. Yeah, all up. So it was in the middle of the desert, unsupervised for four days. That's crazy. <laughs> all righty, well, let's have a look at this thing. So this is obviously the Cruiser. Last time you saw it, it was white, same bar and that, and basically it had like the full suspension setups, all coilovers and that, and it had the VDJ in it. So yep. you've changed that, that's the main thing. Let's hold the camera up a little bit more and have a look at this thing. You've gone barra. Yeah, gone barra and a big turbo. So why have we done that? Chasing more power. More power. So this thing is forged, big turbo, and we're thinking over a thousand horsepower potentially. Yeah, that's the plan. So to just quickly run us through what's been done to the motor for all the all the engine nuts. So out it's there. got upgraded bigger pistons, forged rods, um, main girdle upgraded, all your general stuff, so all your valve springs and all pump gears and everything. Um, obviously big turbo and fancy manifold and gate, bigger intake and stuff like that. Yeah, that, so this is like a Plasma Man style one, is it? Or a... uh, that's a custom alloy welding one. So yeah, right. But big... it's, uh, it's just a big plenum that basically gets rid of... Are they normally like an overhead thing? Yeah, they come over the top yeah. here and all the piping's funny and Similar weird. Similar thing to my 80. So it looks like it's been done really well. Obviously, the turbo's massive. We'll say like a 42. Yeah, G42, 1200. 1200, so that's, you know, rated for well enough power for this thing. Um, you've even, I'm look, noticing now, like you, you even made the tanks for this intercooler, so that's all custom made. And you've used not just normal clamps, they're proper like pressure clamps. Yeah, what yeah, are they so called? They're like a T-clamp. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know what they're called, but I've used them on my 80 as well. So they're like, it's all been done properly. Um, and yeah, you've welded up all your own tanks and yeah, that. Yeah, custom so tanks and a big cooler and yep. all custom pipe work. Yep. Uh, dump exhaust isn't there, but that's four inch. Yep. And then it's got a built box behind it, a ZF6. So that's rated it's for crazy. a thousand. I'll so grab the camera because I'm, I'm blown away by how much space is in here. Like, look at the, the room around the tunnel. You can undo your, your transmission. All your bell housing bolts from here with a rattle gun. <laughs> yeah, that easy. This, it's actually created a lot much more space. Like when you had the, the diesel in here, it was full, like you couldn't do anything, get anything else in it. Yeah, so it's so. not a hundred percent done, but there's not a mu not much missing. There's only like your turbo oil and uh, water lines, yep. dump pipe and a bit of wiring. So tell us about the wiring, because that's different too. You're not using the factory Toyota loom. Nah, so I've got rid of all of that, put out all the Toyota gear and I'm running a Haltech Nexus. Yeah, right. So, that's so, so that basically runs lights, like tail lights, indicators, so you've simplified the whole harness. Like, you, you still gonna yeah. have aircon and all that, or? Yeah, yeah, I have aircon. But that, yeah, I run the thermo fans, all the fuel pumps. Yep. I've got four fuel pumps in it. Wow. Search Sur tank. Search tank and everything's well put. And I've, he's done this properly. Like, I've seen some photos on Instagram. He's had the whole cab off right down to the chassis. How long ago was it just two bars of chassis rail? And that, was uh, that was two weeks ago, I yep. sandblasted the chassis. So I've been watching him online. It's, he's had like, you know, 12 days, 10 days, nine days, slowly getting there to get this thing ready for Rocky Nats. Wait on a couple of parts, but you are getting it there on a trailer. Yeah. It's pretty much a complete car, just a few little things to finish off. Yeah, a few parts then rock up in yep. time, so. It's beyond. Can't do much about well, it. Well, let's keep looking around the side because the other big thing is obviously the whole paint job's changed. So Paulie's got that cruiser with the metallic orange and I, I think you wanted something that popped as well. Yeah, so I wanted something a bit different from the white. How'd you end up on this blue? And oh, what is it? Is it a particular color or? It's a bit of a custom blue. It's a bit of a secret. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's specially mixed up Major so you won't find it on the shelf. And you sprayed it all yourself? Yep, sprayed it all myself down in Victoria when I got stuck there, so. <laughs> That's what I love about Matt and um, the stuff he does, it's all done by himself. Like, I'll get a bunch of photos off him, but he's on there on the welder, on the TIG, doing all the paint himself and just learning the skills. Because how old are you now? 
Uh, 24. I don't think I was doing this much stuff in a car when I was your age. <laughs> yes, Even yes. the tray you've changed. This is obviously a, a Toyota like yeah, style Toyota side tub. tub, but you've gone and changed all the headboard, all this pipe work. Yeah, so bent all of that up, worked yep. it all out, chopped out the whole headboard, put yep. a twin tube, yep. all the way through down to the tub, so it's Just nice and strong. Kind of like a roll bar thing, yeah. Even this way, this is tilted up sick as well. Cut out all the guards, holes yep. in the floor for all the coil overs. So it, a bit of a reminder, like obviously you can go, I'll, I'll link the proper rig rundown below, but this is like the coil tower. So like, forget about coil conversion on a cruiser. This is next level to that. It's like proper coil overs. So this thing has a ton of travel, heap of flex. Actually has a lot of flex. Forget that it's a 79, it flexes like nothing else. It's got more flex now too. Yeah, you changed this, did you? Did you, yeah, what, yeah, what so, change on it? Um, so I've made them a bit higher and I've made everything a bit stronger, a bit yep. better braced. Yep. And um, yeah, so 14 inch coil overs front and rear now. Crazy. Must run sweet. You must be so keen to drive it. Oh yeah, so keen. <laughs> it's got a heap of up travel too, so yep. like, how it sits now, it's got seven and a half inches up in the front and seven and a half inch in the rear. So ride height's pretty much halfway through its yeah. travel. That's, yeah, so you even thought about all that, that's mint. So it should ride really well. Very good. Super stoked, man, it's sick. It's been a mission. Yeah. You won't want to get it dirty. <laughs> I'm keen to just use it, eh? Oh, 100%, and he will. He'll take it somewhere. <laughs> I'll have a quick look inside. It, it's still in bits, but... Very, oh, yeah, I put that on ages ago. You didn't even, you. Still on there. <laughs> still on there. <laughs> It's got the so, Haltec. Yeah. Oh, so you change a dash. Similar thing I did do in my 80, so the Haltec will run all your diagnostics. You don't need extra gauges and crap everywhere. Nah, it's, it's all, all there ready to go. But yeah, through the clean inside, all your one stone armrests. And that's the... It's all, oh, yeah, it's all that's in the Haltec in there. Right. So you just got your positive and, positive and negative. So and that otherwise. one unit, is that ECU plus the Nexus stuff? Yeah, is that's it? everything there. Yeah, right. So it'll run everything. That's sick. So how much of the wiring's done? Not much of it yet? Um, Who's doing that? Are you doing that or? I've got a mate helping me do gotta it. Gotta say, that's, the wiring's the one thing that's like a bit of a headache on any car. So. It, we've got it all sorted out, we just need to do all the plugs. Yeah. But yeah, it's not too bad. That's sick, man. Why don't you pull out all the standard Toyota stuff? Well, there you go. There's bloody, Matt's done a sick job on this thing. So um, yeah, check out that rig rundown we did on it. You can see this thing actually drive and operate and it still runs just as good, probably better. Um, hopefully we'll catch up with him soon when it's running, but I'll let you guys know if this has been released and he's had it running, I'll let you, I'll get some videos off you yeah, of, yeah. of it cruising around, see what power it makes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get to Rocky now. So well, there's one more car I wanna have a look at. Danes, bloody troll, FTE. All these boys are going big power these days, so. I All didn't know Dane was in the rear. Yeah, this thing is, I was actually, I'm, got, I'm meant to be filming every ground down on this too when it's finished. Uh, I caught up with him ages ago and I'm like, dude, we've got to film this thing. And it's almost done. Does it run? Not yet. It's, it's almost same, ready to same sort of stage, it kind of runs. Let's have a look at yours. Yes. All right, so here we are. This is the twin turbo to FT. Wait, well, hang on. No, it's the ZD30. Oh, the ZD30 yeah, it's with a, the- It's got a HC18 on it. Look at that. It's, uh, you... yeah, it's fucked, that's what it is. Yeah, no, it looks good. I love that you've done this retro piping. You know, a bit of patina look, yeah. That's the new fashion, man, the patina. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have a very quick look at this. Put that mic on. All right, well, we're gonna have a proper look at this when it's finished, but I know you've been working on this for ages, man. I don't have to rub it in, man. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? Nah. I've almost got my barrow done, I only started that. Nah, I saw it a few months well, ago. We'll just, and... we'll just use Matt's excuse. Yeah. Just waiting on parts. Waiting on parts. <laughs> but it's a similar sort of thing. All the suspension's changed. It's pretty much like a race truck, but, but streetable. Yeah, we can say that. And we need, it's all about power. Look at that piping, dude. What the f this is the first time I've seen it. Compound turbo FTE. Stroker FTE. It? So tell us what's been done to the motor. So it's been stroked out to a 4.5 litre from a 4.2. It's got a fully built 480 with trans brake and everything in it. Probably end up running 100 pounds through it, I'd say. So what turbos, are they two different sizes? Yeah, so we've got a 62 millimetre feeding an 82 millimetre precision turbos. <laughs> we've got a fully custom one-off diesel central pump. 150% injectors. That is crazy. Yeah. Has it been done before to this extent in FTE? Do you know it's going to hold together? Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, we there's a couple of stroker FTEs in Western Australia that yep. are doing 430 HP and 1500 odd newton meters. Yep. But we're looking to blow that out of the water. 100%. Because, yeah, we've pretty well, every mod that they've got, we've doubled it. Yep. That's crazy. Right, yeah. So when do you reckon it will be able to turn over? 
Wow. Hopefully next week. Very close. Next week, yeah. So Rocky Nats was a bit of a finish line for a lot of us to try and get cars ready, but this is a bit of a sneak peek. I don't want to give too much away because when it's fully running, we'll see the whole car done. I mean, we don't want to show too much while it's still in the build process. I'll give you a sneak peek of the suspension. I'll get a couple of shots for this stuff. All the rear suspension's in too. Oh yeah, you were telling me about that, like the Perspex cover. Are you going to do oh, all that not, The box isn't in yet, but yep. I'll take these up. Flares out first. Yeah, I'm gonna be too scared to get on this thing. <laughs> I have to be very drunk or just I'll watch you drive it. Because I know you drive like a mania. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a full cage in there, so it should be right. She'll be right. Full okay. cage, five pin harness, four seats. Look all at around. the back seat. We'll take the wind truck out and we'll see which one. Like. Even the back seats are like yeah, racing. Look at that. Yeah, Ben's first king. Strap in boys. Grab handles everywhere. Where's the cage? There's no cage. She's gotta get done first. There we go, cage is coming later. Which is probably a bad thing because you'll get the car running and be like, oh, cage can wait. <laughs> can roll the car. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool. It's a similar thing to Maddie's. It's kind of got that rear coilover set up. They're massive. These go on twins, coilover and a triple bypass next to it. 3.0 as well, not 2.5. Yeah, they, they look way bigger, eh? Right? Fat ass. Very cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna leave it there. That's a quick update of the boys' cars. We're gonna head to Rocky Nats now, but stay tuned to see this thing in its complete form. And um, I'll link down below the uh, rig run down we did on Matt's one. All right, see ya. Thanks for that, man. I've just spent three months doing engine upgrades on my motor here, and I've been told I'm not allowed to turn the key until you press subscribe. Please press subscribe. <laughs>